Welcome, boys and girls, to our Bible lesson this week. We want to answer a very important question. Can you guess what it might be? Our question is, why do people look so different? When you look at this uh, picture here, we see all kinds of differences between these boys and girls. The way they dress, their hair color, their shape of their ears, their eyes, all kinds of differences. You may even see more. But what people mostly focus on is the difference in their skin color. Why is this? Why are some people very dark skinned and some people very light skinned? This may be a new word for you, but for many of you, it may not be, depending how far you are along in your science classes. Now, this isn't the only thing involved, and there are other uh, things that you'll learn in science that have to do with skin color, but the main ingredient and the main term that you need to be familiar with is melanin. And if you're light skinned like me, you'll experience the protective properties of melanin if you spend a lot of time this summer out in the sun or at the beach. You, your skin will get much darker because that's the way you, your body protects itself from harmful rays that are in the sun. Now many people have lots of melanin in different shades and some people like me have very little melanin and so I'm very light skinned but it has nothing to do boys and girls with race. When I was growing up in school, the science taught that there were different races of peoples. And so uh, this led to many people looking down on others because of their skin color. But we now know, and science has shown that this has nothing to do with race or, or who you are as a person or how smart you are or how important you are. And this is exactly what the Bible says as well. The Bible says we're all one race, not many races. We all go back to Noah and, um, and his three sons and then all the way back to Adam uh, and Eve there in the garden. They were the first man and the first woman. So we all go back to them. In fact, do you know why Adam named his wife Eve? Well, Eve means mother of all living people. So there weren't all kinds of other people living at the time. Um, Paul tells us in Corinthians that Adam was the first man. Even was, Eve was the first woman. And all of us come from them. And so there aren't many races. There are different people groups that have different customs and different shades and colors of skin, but we're all one race. We were all created in the image of God. We're his image bearers, God's image bearers. And we're all important before God. One person isn't more important to God than another. In fact, the New Testament tells us clearly, whether you're man, woman, slave, or free, or no matter who you are on the earth, we have access and are important to God. And so we are commanded not to look down on another person because of the way they look or the color of their skin, because they, like we are, are created in his image. And skin color has nothing to do with um, your uh, race or making you smarter or anything different. In fact, when we uh, consider Adam and Eve and their children, as the Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 5, they had many sons and daughters. So they would have had, um, some of their sons would have been very dark skinned, some very light skinned. Some of their daughters were very dark skinned, some very light skinned. They had this built-in variety. And from what we know about uh, creation, uh, God loves variety. He built it into the flower world. Look at all the different varieties of flowers. In fact, 
even like tulips and daisies. There's a variety of, within varieties. Uh, look at the dogs uh, that we have. We have very small, tiny dogs like chihuahuas, very large dogs like Great Danes and wolves, but they're all dogs. We have varieties of cats, uh, tabbies and tigers. Um, God loves variety of things. And so everywhere we look, even when we look up into the sky at night, the stars are all different in the way they shine and they're in the uh, shapes that they uh, form in the sky. Um, the clouds, many different varieties of clouds. Everywhere we look in creation, there is variety. And God did the same thing when he made Adam and Eve. They were created with the ability to have a variety of uh, uh, different shades of brown colored children with different characteristics, different shapes of noses and ears and eyes. And so they remember they began to have many sons and daughters, Genesis 5 tells us. And then the earth became so wicked and evil and all the people were doing only what they uh, wanted to do apart from what God commanded. And so remember God chose Noah, uh, his wife and his three sons and the animals that he brought to Noah uh, only they survived on the ark that Noah built uh, to survive the flood that God destroyed the earth with. And then after the flood, Noah and his wife and Shem, Ham, and Japheth and their wives um, began um, to populate the earth. They have, uh, Noah's three sons uh, had many sons and daughters. And so as they began to grow, they began to move west. Uh, now, God had commanded them to spread out and fill all the earth. But when they got to the area of Babel, remember, they stopped and wanted to make a name for themselves. And so God came down and judged that by doing what? Do you remember? Yes, he gave them different languages. So the Tower of Babel uh, reminds us that we speak different languages because of God's judgment um, there at the Tower of Babel. But at Babel also explains to us why we have uh, different um, people groups all over the earth. Because as they spread out from Babel, uh, those uh, group, the group that went to Africa developed very, um, the people that survived and dominated there became very dark skinned. In fact, they got to the place, many of them, where they could only have dark skin. No, not all of them. Those that went north um, were dominated and became very light uh, skinned. Um, in fact, they came to the place where they could only have children with light skin, but not all of them too. But others who spread to the islands and to America uh, and to further south and north um, had a variety of shades of brown skin all over the earth. But remember that they all started and came from the Tower of Babel. They all go back to Noah and his three sons and then eventually back to Adam and Eve. We're all one race of people. And skin color has nothing to do with whether we're, um, how important we are to God uh, how smart we are, or what we can do, our abilities. Uh, in fact, look at this couple here uh, from one of the um, different co countries around the world, Australia and England, um, couples in Jamaica. Um, this couple here had twin girls, but look, one is very dark skin and one is very light skin, but they have the same mother and father. So skin color has nothing to do with race, boys and girls, or, or whether you're a smart or have good abilities or are more important than somebody else. We're all created in the image of God. And skin color reflects God's love of variety. Just like each one of you, if you look at even your brothers and sisters and, or your neighbors, they have different shapes of ears, um, different eye colors, 
we're all different in some way. God loves that variety. We are his image and bears and we should never look down on anyone else or another person because of the color of their skin or because of the way they look, uh, their eye color or their eye shape or anything about them. Uh, because we are all important to God and created in his image. And he all wants all of us to turn our hearts. He looks at the heart and he wants us to turn and give uh, and trust him uh, as our savior. Look to him for strength um, each day that we live. And so it's wrong for us to uh, think that we're better than somebody else because um, of the color of our skin or the shape of our eyes or how tall we are. Uh, we're all important to God. And I trust that you'll treat others around you, your neighbors, and uh, when you get back into school, that you won't look down on anybody else because of the differences that they have, but that you'll look at them and see them through God's eyes, that they are created in the image of God. They are his image bearers, and you need to treat them as such. I trust you have a good week and that uh, you will keep on learning, keep studying the Bible, keep trusting God, and keep talking to him in prayer. And uh, hopefully we'll soon be back and able to be singing praises and um, doing the things that we love to do at church. God bless you all.